So I know your heart has been in TV for some time now. Um, Co-executive producer on one of the most popular, long-running uh, reality TV shows, Love & Hip Hop. I'm an EP. Don't take away my credit. Oh, I'm so, excuse me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Executive producer. Like my third EP credit. Don't take <laughs> Um, yeah. How did that come about for you? Were you and Mona friends? Like, how, how did y'all yeah, come? Yeah. But but that happened. Um, so I've known Mona for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, before I started working on Love and Hip Hop, well, actually, I was scripting for the reunion shows first. So going back to my days at BET, um, in the digital department, I worked a lot, you know, with Linear, and I also was scripting some of the countdown shows, right? So I got into scripting for television while I was working at BET. So I even like, um, there's even like an Aaliyah special that I wrote back then. Like I tried my hand at scripting. Uh, and uh, when I left BET and went to the source and I did that show, The Gossip Game, um, I reconnected with Mona. And then after that show, I started scripting for the reunion shows. So I would write the scripts for the Love and Hip Hop reunion shows. Um, and that was a lot of fun just because I'm sure as you guys know how much goes into the reunion show tapings on Love and Hip Hop. Um, but then I also, I said, I, you know, I think I want to start building story um, on the story side in episodic. And so I started working with different production companies. I worked with Big Fish for a while um, on a few different shows, like shows like Hustle and Soul. Um, you know, I worked with E1 on shows like Hustle in Brooklyn, a lot of hustling out there. And uh, growing up hip hop, New York, um, I did Black in Chicago. Uh, so I started to like move around in the reality space and just kind of wound, I wound up, is wound the word? Okay. I wound up back at Big Fish when Big Fish and Mona Me came, uh, merged to do Love and Hip Hop season 10. So I actually did season eight as a story czar, um, which was a co-EP role but then came back as um, showrunner for season 10. So that has been super busy and exciting. That's a, that's, it's been a whirlwind of, and, and time is just flying, but you know, season 10 has been um, a big deal for Love and Hip Hop New York, just because we have a lot of the OGs back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm so happy to hear your story has come full circle, um, you know, and you're still active and really contributing to the culture um, may not be the way that it was in 99, but you're still very much a great contributor to this hip hop culture. Um, and I think that you're such an inspiration, especially for young women, um, writers, people who are seeking to get into this industry. So congratulations on your career. I think that this interview has been so informative and inspiring for me. Um, for any of our listeners, for any of our viewers, where can they find you at, Kim? They can find me. I'm Kim Osorio one on Instagram, and that's with all O's, K-I-M-O-S-O-R-I-O, -O -O, the number one, um, and Twitter. And um, I think I'm Kim Osorio one on, across all social media. Any last thoughts you want to leave us with? I would just, you know, want to inspire everyone during this, very trying and unprecedented time um, to really focus on themselves, focus on all the things that you can't do when you're out in the streets and just too busy um, to get to work and try to come out of this time with, you know, just some real focus on yourself and um, your profession and other things that you want to do to follow your dreams. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.